Well, starting on Monday, runners can tie up their laces and experience the excitement of in-person road races once more. The state is relaxing restrictions on outdoor athletic events, but there are a few key things to know. Road races can resume May 10th, and race organizers must send their safety plans to either the State Department of Public Health or to their local Board of Health ahead of time, and also races will have to operate with staggered start times in order to space people out. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo caught up with the founder of one of the first road races that will operate in person since the pandemic started. And now she joins us live in Springfield with the details. Audrey. Matt, the return of road races isn't just a big deal for the runners who participate in them. It also marks the return of the causes they support. I've done a few 5Ks. Dean Barry isn't what you'd call an avid runner. But there's one race each year he doesn't miss, even during the pandemic when it was held virtually. It was a bit of a bummer that we couldn't celebrate with the family. We just didn't have that celebration of life. The race is the Celebrate Kate 5K, and the life belonged to Catherine Kate Moki, a 17-year-old who went to Sabbath International Charter School in Springfield, where Barry was her teacher. She was going to change the world. Until a night in February of 2015, when her bright future was cut tragically short. She lost her life um, to domestic violence. Kate's mother, Jennifer, tells Western Mass News the Celebrate Kate 5K has raised money for scholarships and for local domestic violence shelters for six years. Last year was a little bit different because we did a virtual, a run from home. This year will be the seventh, and under the new staggered start times and other COVID-19 restrictions, Jennifer hopes it will be another step in a long journey of changing lives for the better. We're just making sure that we follow all the state and local guidelines to make sure that our community and ourselves, we stay safe. With COVID-19 lockdowns canceling or changing many races, owner of 4Run3, Tim Murphy, says the biggest excitement for runners this year is being able to lace up in support of a cause. 95% of all the races we do, there's a charitable component connected to it. Um, and I think that's part of what people have missed. And after a year like no other, a cause like Celebrate Kate. There's no end in sight. We want to keep doing it for as long as we can. We'll keep moving forward. By holding this 5K, in a small way, she is still able to change the world. The Celebrate Kate 5K takes place next Sunday on May 16th. Registration is now open, and if you'd like more information, we'll have a link for you on our website, westernmassnews.com. In Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.